Good morning, good morning to everybody. I pray that you had a restful sleep on last night. I pray that you're up and ready to give your first fruit unto God. To find out what your kingdom assignment is on today. To give him everything that's due to him. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. To just thank him for waking us up this morning. Giving us our right minds and clothing us in our right minds. And providing food on the table. Hallelujah. And that everything is well with us and our loved ones. Hallelujah. On this morning. In the name of Jesus. Welcome to commanding your morning. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So our thought for today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus is get prayed up. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Guys, this is part of what we are doing. This is the main focus of what we are doing. Every morning when we command in our morning, we are practicing to get prayed up. Hallelujah. Okay? So that's our topic for today. Get prayed up. As often as possible, Jesus, hallelujah, withdrew to Hallelujah, out of the way, places for prayer. Hallelujah, so he drew out, hallelujah, he drew away, out, you know, for different places for prayer. Hallelujah, because that was his main objective, is prayer. Prayer should be the foundation of our lives, guys. Prayer should be like breathing for us. We should always be in prayer. The Bible tell us tell us to pray without ceasing. Pray about everything. So prayer should be our main objective in our lives. And we will start to see a lot of things differently. A lot of things will turn out differently in the name of Jesus. Sometimes not the way we planned, but always the way God planned. Okay, in the name of Jesus. Our scripture for this morning is Luke 5 and 16. So let's go into the word of God on this morning. Luke 5 and 16. Thank you, Jesus. It says, And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. Thank you, Jesus. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of, of the law setting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them and to and behold men bought in a bed a man which was taken with a person and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him and when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude they went upon the house top and let him down through the tilling with his crouch into the mist before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah for his word. Thank God for being a loving and forgiving and kind God. Hallelujah. There is nothing that we could have thought, done, reacted, hallelujah, rehearsed in our mind, hallelujah, or just, you know, planned and done the sin of the of, of that thing that God would not forgive us for. Hallelujah. So just always pray. That is my nugget for you today. Always pray and seek God. Look, hallelujah, to God for the answers when you're praying. You know, sometimes, well, no, most times, it's better to have a journal, 
a prayer journal. Hallelujah. Things that you're praying for, things that you're looking God, for God to do for you. You know, write them down. The Bible says write the vision and make it plain. So write them down. And as you're praying and as your prayer life unfolds, this journey that you're going to be going on with God, as he starts to answer, you can mark those things off so that you can pursue to other things. And it won't seem like you're going in a circle in the same thing or that you're praying about the same thing all the time because sometimes we can continue to just pray and pray about something and not realize that God has answered that. Hallelujah. He has bring he has brought clarity to that and understanding in the name of Jesus. So we ask why so it's so important to have a journal and to, you know, keep it present forever front in front of our lives and in, in front of our eyes that we may you know you know pay attention to the journal pay attention pay attention to what we are praying and how we are praying and you know guys like i had said in another segment it's just best to pray god's word because we can pray a miss we can pray a lot of nice words and everything but will it get to where we need it to will god you know, honor it as much as he would if it's his word that we're praying. We can't pray wrong praying God's word. And yes, you know, normal prayers, we pray those, but let's not rely on normal prayers as much as we do God's word because that's what we should be praying. We should be praying God's word so that his will can be done in this earth. Hallelujah through us in the name of Jesus. And hallelujah, if you have a heavenly language, pray in your heavenly language because God understands what you're, praying, what you're praying about. He understands and hallelujah, we may not even understand what we're praying, but hallelujah, God does and that's the important thing. So let's go on further into commanding our morning on this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. There is no question that Jesus was always prayed up. He was connected with the Father and valued his prayer time so much that he would sneak away from the disciples without telling them. So, he could pray, hallelujah, undisturbed for as long as he needed to pray. Then when he faced a situation, a, bl a blind person coming to him for healing, for example, he knew just what to do. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. See, guys, that's the connection I'm talking about. That's the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that I'm talking about. When we stay prayed up, when we pray, hallelujah, without ceasing, and we stay connected with God, when situations pop up, God is going to allow us and he's going to equip us on what to do. Hallelujah. He said he sent his Holy Spirit here to comfort us, to help us, to guide us. Hallelujah. So he will help us when the situations arise when they come forth in the name of Jesus. But we need to stay prayed up so that we'll be equipped and, and ready and armed, hallelujah, for the situations. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. I thank you and I pray that you will receive this and get prayed up and stay prayed up. Glory to your name, God. In the name of Jesus, you can just take the word of God and just pray it aloud every morning every evening, every night before you go to bed. Hallelujah. Speak God's word into your children's life, into your spouse's life, into your grandchildren's life. Speak the word of God over your job. Hallelujah. Speak the word of God over every physical thing that you have, your transportation. Hallelujah. Your homes, your communities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Anything that concerns you, speak the word of God in the name of Jesus. Guys, I 
going to go on into prayer for this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to walk in sync with you. Download your divine instruction so that I will know which way I should go. Your word renew my mind so that I will not follow after the patterns of this world, but after you. Lead me along paths of righteousness. Order my steps in your word in all my dealings today. Let your light shine through me. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, amen. Glory to your name, God. Father God, I come to you right now that your light will shine, hallelujah, in our lives. Hallelujah, through the path in the journey that you will have us to travel on today. I thank you for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding, your protection. Hallelujah, your comfort. Hallelujah, your strength. Hallelujah, your endurance. Hallelujah, glory to your name to make it through this day. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. I thank you for no situation will come to us. Hallelujah, that we will not know how to handle with you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Because through you is the only way that we'll be able to handle whatever situation we face this day. In Jesus' name, I thank you. I pray. Amen. God, y'all have a blessed day. Know God love you. Know God is there. Hallelujah. Just stay in tune with them. Just keep yourself connected to them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all have a blessed day. I pray that you have traveling mercies today and you have favor today. And know that God is there and that he is in everything that can pertains to life. Hallelujah. Just look to him and call on him in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Amen.